Ladies and gentlemen, our next comedian tonight. You might know him from his pizzeria on State Street. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Polly's Pizza. What's up, Columbia? I love this place. Surrounded by white rappers every day. It's awesome. Not really. I was trying to get into SoundCloud, and I'm just like, hey man, my Uber driver was way better. So just stop. Uh, hey, I was uh, watching movies with my friends the other day, and I, I totally realized the movie we watching was based on the last book I've ever read, you know? It's so, like, totally turned out a pretentious guy. It's like, oh yeah, I've read the book. You might have seen me outside of a, like a Hunger Games movie or a Twilight movie. He's like, I read the book, guys. The character structure's way off. The book's better than the movie, right? The book's better than the movie. I totally ruined the Lorax for them. <laughs> Where's my laugh track? <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. My confidence needs me. <laughs> But yes, Dr. Seuss uh, liked to do acid. I you guys knew that. Fun fact for you. I, uh, I'm also a big fan of acid. Couldn't tell by my t-shirt. But uh, I, I, uh, I was like dropping acid recently. And, uh, I, had, I had a delivery though. I forgot like, some, of, like, some guys from mattress from I deliver a mattress to my new apartment. And uh, I, like, I couldn't give them directions because I just moved there and I was high on acid so um, and they, they had like a, a thick accent so just like hey man uh, I, I can't really like help you out right now but just put the good vibes out in the universe maybe you'll make it here <laughs> he did something I don't know how to happen. Uh, but then my, my friend was coming over too at the same time because he was going to drop acid with me and he's like dude you're like really fucked up I'm like I know right I'm just like shaking and, and sweating in my kitchen he's like trying to hook up the instant before he's like I don't know if you guys have ever done acid but the colors on Mario Kart 64 are the best. They really are. And it's just like a nice wave, and you get like the star power, and like you feel like a gl glowing monkey god. It's awesome. Uh, however, he's just like, dude, I can't find your hookups on your TV. Like, can you like, can you help me out? I'm like, dude, I can't help you out right now. But I put like good vibes across this living room. Maybe you'll figure it out. He's like, what are you retarded? Man? Like, not retarded. I just barely hold my molecules together. <laughs> we almost had to go to the laughter. Uh, but like, <laughs> but uh, the reason why I, I like to do acid is because they say it stays in your spinal fluid forever and you can have acid flashbacks, and that's my retirement plan. <laughs> <laughs> like, while you guys are like in the old folks' home playing Pinochle and Canasta, I'll be like floating through space with Jimi Hendrix and Edgar Allan Poe, just <laughs> evolving the species. Alright, guys? <laughs> Um, I, uh, doing all this acid kind of just like messes up my brain. I, I don't have to talk to women anymore, especially with through texting, right? Like, guys, if you guys ever does like texting girl like four times in a row, it's like, it's over now. <laughs> Ruined everything. <laughs> Whatever this talk situation was going on for the last couple weeks, it's just over. You know? She could have been my wife and I say JK twice. <laughs> and ladies, what's with these emojis, right? You guys are just talking to hieroglyphics now. What? I gotta be a freaking Egypt, Egyptologist just to get laid. Where's my laugh track? Um, but yeah, like I, I was also, I, I did manage a first date recently, uh, but I screwed that up real quick. I, uh, the, the, the dinner conversation like turned into, uh, to like God. I was like, do you believe in Jesus? And like just made a really uncomfortable, don't do that ever. Um, I had to be a good Christian and talk about it, but it was a really, really long walk home. Uh, I was just thinking the whole time, I was like, if I just kept my mouth shut, maybe a little with that acid line, I'd be fucking this pagan bitch Dirty Saint style right now. <laughs> but no, gotta be a good, good old Christian. Um, speaking of Jesus, like, I, I grew up in the South, I'm from Tennessee, so we always just go to like, Bible camp to learn more about the Bible. It turns out, all my favorite Bible verses are always tattooed on strippers. Like I said, it's like tragic Shakespearean kind of thing, like, Yes, cinnamon, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Now do that ping pong trick again. <laughs> oh, wow, there's confetti in there. How'd that happen? Must be the power of Christ. 
Oh man, I uh, I do like there, there comes a time in every like relationship that magical moment where you have to like ask your partner to put your mouth their mouth on your pee hole. You know, you know what I'm talking about like. You gotta talk him into it, even though you know it's kind of gross thing to ask them, but you do it anyway. You can, you can like you can go at it like real, real tough, but like, yeah, suck my cock. Or you take like the, the slow approach. You're like, hey, sweetie, can I get your background or bubble bath? Oh. Now I know like you, you like to eat with your mouth. It's kind of how you gain sustenance. You need to keep it really clean. But would you would you take that and, and put it on my urethra, please? <laughs> Let's be real scientific about it. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I like oral sex. Uh, that's the moral of that story. But I uh, I I heard recently like like J K Rowling had to get on Twitter because somebody asked her like I don't I don't see Dumbledore as being gay, and she was like well of course like you don't look any different from anybody else right very very wise thought by J K Rowling but like I I know she's also writing like a, like a, a prequel to Harry Potter and I want to see. I want to see the, the, the Wizard series of Dumbledore in his 20s, you know? Just blowing dudes all over the place, right? <laughs> Just sucking that Salazar Schlilo and Schlong, you know? <laughs> and then when it's over, he takes out his wand and just goes, Ejaculus Removus, and all the spark goes away. <laughs> I know there's like a couple like nerds in the back, it's like, that's not how you say jizz in Latin. <laughs> I just watched the movies, guys. I didn't read the books. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I see a lot of like people in college and, and things. They're always like, always like, let's get weird. Let's get weird, bro. Their teachers say, let's get weird, bro. And I was like, what the fuck? I've been weird since middle school, right? Now it's cool. Like, if, if I see somebody on the street wearing a like, let's get weird, bro T-shirt, girl or guy, I just go to and start tickling. Like, is this weird enough for you, man? Let's get real weird, huh? Let's a snap change on our poops. How about that? I'm gonna take our shirts off talking about 9-11. Let's get real weird. Let's get real weird. <laughs> oh. Another thing kids are doing, especially high school kids, they can't buy alcohol. They don't like the taste of alcohol these days, so they get fucked up, they take tampons and dip them in vodka and put it in their bodies. Girls and guys. Like, I don't know how that pre-pressure goes, guy. The guy, like, come on, dude, for being a pussy, take this tampon on your butt, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're such a fag if you don't. Come on, bro. Like, you know those guys that like, get really competitive when they drink? It's like, oh, you got a tampon on your butt? I got a whole feather duster. <laughs> oh, you got a feather duster? I got a whole mop head. How about that? You should see like, a circle of guys, like one dude doing a handstand, and the other guy's like sloshing a mop bucket, and we're going, go, go, go. Yeah, mop my butt up, bro. Do it. Don't do that. That's actually terrible for me. Learn that in the Air Force, actually. We had to have a briefing. One guy does it, we have to hear about it every Friday from now on. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I do like to, uh, to get a little fucked up, but I see marijuana as, like, as, as a medicine. Like, I believe in the power of medical marijuana. So much so I to get stoned before I donate blood. <laughs> that way some sick guy can die too, right? Spread the wealth! 420, bro. Uh, in my blood. Um, uh, sativa A positive. Uh, <laughs> but like, I, I really do like think doctors should like research marijuana medically. They should open that up. Like, they'll find a medical use for alcohol. They say a glass of red wine a day reduces your chance of heart disease. Well, I say if they research marijuana, they might find a bowl of OG Kush a day reduces your chance of being a dick. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but I do like get real stoned, like to walk around. And uh, sometimes I'll, I'll like walk into the library somewhere and I'll see twins. I think it's deja vu. And I freak out because all, we all know deja vu is a glitch in the matrix. But luckily I always keep like a, a box of Sour Patch Kids to talk me down. Because those are my best friends. When I'm stuck. They really are. But I eat them anyway. I've committed mass genocide of the Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is don't drink and drive, really, is my point. But if you do, use a tailgate, guys. You guys know what a tailgate is? I've learned this like for many years doing comedy and driving drunks home. Uh, it's where you drive behind your friend to come up with his license, but the cops can't see him. Uh, don't be surprised though if you like to smoke weed because you're like really paranoid like I follow behind you. Like, Who is this asshole? Andrew, that's Mike. You told him to follow you to the party. Oh, my bad. But for the love of God, don't do peyote and drive. Because you might hit a deer 
And you finally let your spirit out on them. <laughs> Never you really give me guilt ever. Never, ever. Alright, thanks a lot guys. I love you. Follow me on Twitter.